Hey guys, I know this video is about traveling to Mexico, but I just want to share a quick story about something that I overheard at a Chinese restaurant. There was a 50-ish years old white guy standing in line behind me. He heard me ordering Kung Pao tofu and he pulled out his phone and said, Hey Siri, what is tofu? Tofu, also known as... I was shook. I guess most people still live in their own bubble. So do I. I didn't know what chilaquiles was until I went to Mexico. You know, I was in Mexico. I started doing different activities, eating different food, being more adventurous. If I never put myself outside of my bubble, I would be missing out on so many new experiences. But anyway, I'm glad that guy ended up trying something new and I hope he enjoyed the tofu. Mexico City offers plenty of Instagram worthy spots. Today I want to share my favorite locations for you to capture the best photos around Mexico City. Let's start with the Sears department. Yes, you heard me right. Head over to the Sears, take the elevator to the 8th floor, you will find Finca Don Porfirio, aka Sears Coffee Shop. It's not so hidden gem anymore since the social media boosts its popularity, but there couldn't be a better place to have a such a killer view of the fine arts palace and the lovely traffic. Hola, ¿qué tal? Guys, I literally feel like I'm living in the postcard. Next one is totally off the tourist track, Camino Rail Hotel. Bright yellow and warm pink throughout the property. One of the highlights is the hotel gate. It's in geometry shapes and eye-popping colors. And also the fountain pool at the entrance is very catchy as well. The water constantly rolling and swirling like an ocean during a storm. For the next one, we're going to a very upscale area in Mexico City, it's called Polanco, where there are many fancy restaurants, art galleries, and one of those places that you shouldn't miss is Sumaya Museum. This should be at the top of everyone's bucket list. The massive structure rises as a vortex tiled with thousands of silver hexagons. The owner is the billionaire Carlos Slim, who set the admission fee at $3.99. <laughs> Those hallways are completely white with no window and as you go down them, you feel disorientated and lost as if you are walking through a maze. Back to historical center, we're going to check out the city's main square, Zocalo. You will notice the touristy side around there is Metropolitan Cathedral. Going inside is a must. While I was there, I ran into the protesters who set up their camp on the square. They usually march to the area in protest of their president. Because within the short distance, there is a national palace which is the president's office. Mexico, no like AMLO. President, go! Since I don't have much knowledge about Mexican politics, let's move on to the next destination. We're heading to the top of Torre Latino Americana, one of the tallest buildings in the city, and make sure to use the restroom up there. It will be the best view you've ever had while sitting on the toilet. You just can't beat that. Doesn't the green space look like a New York City Central Park right in the middle of the city? For the next spot, Placio Postal, aka Main Post Office. Please step inside to fully appreciate the lavish interior that looks like it would be better designed for a palace than for something mundane like mail service. So I've heard so many good things about this place, but not until you experience this for yourself do you truly realize how amazing it is. Just a block away from Torre Latino Americana, there is a structure that's fully covered by blue and white tiles. The best way to view the tiles is to go around the buildings to the alley. Next one is Monument to the Revolution, the world's tallest triumphal arch. There is a glass elevator taking you up to the top of the dome so that you can have the bird's eye view of the city. There are another two spots on my bucket list which are the Chacolotepe Castle and the Library Vasconcelos. I wasn't able to visit these two places because it's been closed due to COVID, but I think you should definitely add them onto your itinerary, especially the library. The suspended bookshelves look like they're floating in the air, it's very futuristic, 
and just overwhelming from the picture. Mexico City is a place where you could get lost. You would never run out of things to do or see. And there is always something intriguing that will have you coming back for more. By the way, if you never had tofu, now is your chance to pop your bubble and try something new. I hope you enjoyed today's video and don't be shy to subscribe and I will see you very soon. Thank you.